uh, good morning dear students today we are going to practice the uh, language part from your lesson the 100 dresses part 2 okay so let's see from where we can start we are going to okay so dear students uh, first of all let us work out on this mm, can you tell some of the positive characteristics and some of the negative characteristics there are 30 adjectives uh, given here inside this box where some human uh, which represents human qualities right 30 adjectives representing human qualities so according to the positive or ne negative qualities you got to distribute these words into two uh, is what is that called wave this uh, what is that called uh, like uh, kind of a uh, bubble type of thing actually uh, Uh, you see, inside such round boxes, you have to keep uh, very simple. Uh, like for example, kind, kind will come in positive qualities, right? Sarcastic, sarcastic will come in negative qualities. Sarca sarcastic means something that uh, uh, means that is a joke or something sarcastic. Okay, courteous, he is a courteous fellow. So. you do one thing you can write uh, on the chat box like for example how will you write tell me let me tell you like for example 1 e 1 p 2 uh, n for positive you write p for negative you write n like here courteous courteous is positive so number 3 p arrogant is negative so number 4 and likewise you write okay so dear students uh, please start writing the answer okay so for example uh, like soham soham you write the answer for number 3 parimal you write the answer for number 4 Janhavi, you write the answer for number five. Suti, you write the number for six. Likewise, Anudipa seven, Somia eight, Asmita nine, Ayushi ten, Pranati eleven, Nandini twelve, Tanvi thirteen, Manaja fourteen, Anusri fifteen, Anusri fifteen. so till 15 you keep typing me okay parimal uh, said 4 and very good let me see parimal 1 2 3 4 yes parimal you are correct now 5 insipid insipid what is the meaning of insipid insipid do you know the meaning of insipid if you don't know the meaning let us see the meaning okay it's better to see the meaning insipid insipid is something which describes negative actually is not positive okay insipid means lacking flavor weak or tasteless okay lacking a lacking flavor weak or tasteless is called insipid it can be uninteresting boring dull spiritless bloodless etc okay so Number five is whose was number five? Tell me. Number five. Uh, see, number five hasn't responded yet. Okay. Number six. Who I? Who? Who did I? Who I assign number six? Shruti. Shruti says number six negative. So let me see. 
Shruti said number six in the meeting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Timid, very good, Timid is Timid some, is somebody who is not uh, brave, right? Timid means a person who is not brave, courageous. Not brave, not courageous, called timid. Fearful is called timid. So you are correct, Shruti. Seven is placid. Uh, number seven, placid. So let me first explain you the meaning of placid. Placid. And from the meaning, you guess whether it is positive or negative. Plas placid means not easily upset or excited. Placid. Uh, not easily upset or excited. Not easily upset or excited. Not easily upset or excited is placid. Okay, the placid wat waters of a small lake. The placid waters of a small lake. Calm and peaceful with little movement or activity. Calm and peaceful with little movement or activity. That is placid. Right? Placid means not easily upset or excited. That is placid. Not easily upset or excited. So, let me see. Uh, uh, 15, both negative and positive through different aspects. Anushri said. Okay, just a minute. Uh, Shruti said 6 is negative, 7 no reply, 8 no reply, uh, 9 Asmita said uh, negative, Asmita said is negative. So, 40, yes, you are correct Asmita, uh, 9 is uh, negative actually, okay, uh, 9 is negative, uh, 9 is negative, Shruti, okay, then uh, who is number 10? Krishna said 5 is positive. Krishna said 5 is positive. Uh, Krishna, no, 5 is not positive. 5 is negative. It's not positive. Okay. Uh, Anudipa said 7 is uh, positive. Placid. No, uh, placid. Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, placid. Not easily con uh, contended. No? Placid means what? Placid means not, means contended. No? This is what placid is all about, right? Not easily upset or excited. Uh, a contented man okay yeah, okay it's it, it, it's of course positive next next see uh, nandini 12 nandini said uh, both negative and positive okay nandini says both negative and positive let me see nandini aapki question ka number batao 12 na okay okay 12 so, either 9 or 10, 11, 12. Intrepid. Okay. So, dear students, you can learn the meanings of this word also. Right? You can learn the meaning of this word also. Intrepid. Intrepid. Kya hota hai? Batao, bete. Intrepid hai. Fearless. Adventurous. So, it is only positive. Okay. Fearless, unafraid, undauntless. Unannounced, unafraid. So it is positive, it's not negative. Intrepid is a positive word. Uh, next. Nandini's. Uh, Nandini, I think I've answered now. No? No, Nandini is 12. Uh, I've answered Nandini's. Now I have to answer, I have to check answer of Anusri 15. Anusri is 15. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Introvert. Introvert is a negative factor, right? It's not positive. Introvert is...
in what way anusri introvert is negative uh tell me a, in what way introvert is uh, positive actually it should not be introverted it should be introvert right see if i type here introverted honest theek hai introverted typical of an introvert ha who is introvert shy reserved withdrawn reticent diffident retiring quiet so when you say introvert introvert is not uh, not exactly a positive character traits okay when you say extrovert that is positive trait but when you say introvert or introvert it is not very much positive so more, more of negative actually right it is more of negative okay so uh then shruti 8 okay give me quality friends uh okay so now let's move on to this exercise okay what adjectives can we use to describe peggy wanda and medi you can choose adjectives from the list above so now you can choose the adjectives from the list given above for peggy what kind of adjective can you use peggy for wanda what kind of adjective we can use for medi what kind of adjective you can use yes peggy is thoughtlessness ha oh, very good what other you can use shivam what others you can use for uh, peggy sarcastic arrogant merry intrepid timid ah uh, yes timid you can say for merry na yes very good very good what else dear students uh can you think of some more like for peggy you can also say she is contented contented means she is satisfied okay she is also cheerful you can use for wanda you can use uh kind wanda patrons ki is very kind in nature so but she is timid also right introverted because she used to keep herself keep herself withdrawn from the rest of her group right so introverted you can say then you can say uh wanda can also be described as creative right wanda can also be described as dear students wanda can also be described as creative uh yes very good mm, yes nice thank you anushri soham shruti and shivam yes so we have to categorize or classify these adjectives according to the character traits of these persons okay of these boys and girls uh, sorry of these girls uh, like peggy mary and wanda right Yes, Peggy is unforgiving also. Very good. 
Okay, now let's move on to the next exercise. Find the sentences in the story with the following phrasal verbs. Lined up, thought up, took off, stood by. Right. So, anyway, let's move. But dear students, what I advise you, I advise you to write the meanings of those words from these character traits from the words, uh, from the uh, examples given inside the box, you make a list of those words which you do not know the meaning of. And then you please write the meaning along with the sentences of those words which the meaning of which you don't know. Okay? So that uh, the meaning of which you don't know, so that what happens? You can use them while you are writing about someone's characteristics or someone's character traits. These words are used uh, to describe a person. If you say he is a complacent, it means uh, he remains satisfied, right? Self-satisfied. If you say he is creative, uh, it means he has a lot of creative ideas in his mind. Whenever you say he is uh, thoughtless, then or she is thoughtless, so you will say thoughtless is a uh, negative word means thoughtless means what uh, without thinking very uh, without thinking too much if if someone does something he or she is called thoughtless thoughtless means not with lot of th thought and lot of consideration no without thinking without consideration if someone does something thoughtless impulsive also you can say Another word for thoughtless is impulsive, right? Compassionate means, they, they say, you can say Wanda Petronsky was a compassionate girl. Compassionate, the meaning of compassionate is kind-hearted, right? Uh, then insipid. Okay, so these are some of the words which you need to uh, learn so that you can use them while you describe the characteristics of so people like intrepid, like introverted, like stolid, right? Contented, content means happy, right? Uh, complacent, I told you, okay? So likewise, sarcastic. So these are some of the words which you should learn how to make use of in a sentence so that you can describe people with the help of these words, right? Then, dear students, let's do this matching, matching exercise. Let's do this matching exercise. Colors are used to describe feelings, moods, and emotions. Very important. Colors are always used to describe feelings, moods, and emotions. Match the following color expressions with a suggested paraphrase. Match the following color expressions with a suggested paraphrase. For example, the Monday morning. Monday morning means feel embarrassed, angry, ashamed. This is Monday morning blues. Monday morning blues means what? Feel embarrassed, angry, ashamed. Okay. Uh, is it feel embarrassed? No. It's something else. So we have to find out. Go red in the face. Look green. So what is common in these uh, phrases? What is common? Dear students, uh, what is common in these color expressions? Uh, what is um, these are all the names of the colors like blues, red, green, blue, black, all this gray, right? So, you do you know the meaning of some of them? Let's see. The Monday morning blues. What does it mean? The Monday morning blues. Yes, like Shivam said. Sadness or depression after a weekend of fun. That is Monday morning blues. Very good. Very good. Okay. So look for the other one. What is the meaning of the other one? Go red in the face means what? Go red in the face. What does it mean? Go red in the face. It means uh, feel embarrassed, angry, or ashamed. 
so go right in the face is feel embarrassed angry or ashamed right then the monday morning blues were uh, sadness or depression after a weekend of fun now let's go for uh, look green what does the expression look green mean so look green means feel very sick as if about to vomit feel very sick yes as as if about to uh, as if about to vomit very good very good uh, so the look green means the red carpet what does red carpet means dear students please learn these phrases okay these are color phrases so please do learn these color phrases right now blue blooded right so let's see next is blue blooded see blue blooded so what does blue blooded mean blue blooded means of noble birth or from a royal family so of noble birth and or from a royal family so that is blue blood right now we shall learn another word that is a green belt so what does a green belt mean what does a green belt mean it means land around the town or city where construction is prohibited by law a green belt means land around a town or a city where construction is prohibited by law right might be this is government uh, uh, land where construction of buildings okay or any kind of infrastructure is not possible why because it is prohibited by law right next let's do the next one that is a black guard do you know the meaning of black guard dear students a black guard whom do you call a black guard a uh, whom do you call a black guard dear students whom do you call a black guard do you know a uh, black guard is very interesting dear students black guard means uh, here you see a dishonest person with no sense of right or wrong he is called a black guard a dishonest person with no sense of right or wrong he is called a black guard now let us learn another beautiful color expression that is a gray area what does a gray area mean dear students what does a gray area mean do you know what what a gray area means do you know what a gray area means do you know what a gray area, a gray area means dear students it is a very often used phrase color phrase a gray area okay um, let me tell you the meaning of gray area dear students gray area means an area of a subject or a situation 
where matters are not very clear, right? Suppose if you say coordinate geometry is my gray area, it means coordinate geometry is the uh, area is the is the uh, topic where you have some doubt or confusion. So if you are not an expert in a particular subject, in a particular topic of a subject, then you can say, this is my gray area. Like for example, you can also say, like trigonometry is uh, my gray area. It means I'll understand that trigonometry is not a topic you are very comfortable with, right? So we make use of gray area to indicate an area of a subject or it can be a situation also which is not very much clear to us. Understood? So mostly we use for the subject actually, okay? Or might be a topic or might be, say, if I say, uh, say for example, a driving is a gray area for me. It means driving is somewhere where I do not feel comfortable, okay? Um, so next let us move on to the next one so what is the next one dear students the next one is a white flag so what uh, what does a white flag mean do you know what does a white flag mean a white flag so do you know what a white flag is uh, what a white flag mean Harshal says a sign of surrender. So, Harshal is correct. A sign of surrender or acceptance of defeat. A wish to stop fighting. That is called a white flag. Okay. A sign. Oh, then I have to write this in different ink, it seems, right? Because these two inks are matching too much. Let me mark with red then. A white flag means a sign of surrender or acceptance of defeat, a wish to stop fighting, right? Okay. Next, a blueprint. What does a blueprint mean? So, what does a blueprint mean? A blueprint. What does a blueprint mean? So, dear students, a blueprint means a photographic print of building plans. A detailed plan or scheme is called a blueprint. A detailed uh, plan or scheme is called a blueprint. Next, red handed. Do you know, dear students, what is red handed? Do you know the meaning of right handed? Okay, let me tell you. Right handed means in N. Oh, again, it's matching. So again, I have to erase this and this. Okay. So, dear students, red handed means in an unlawful, in an unlawful act while doing something wrong. Next, and the last one of the day, this is the green light. So, what is the green light? It is very simple. Green light means the green light means the sign or permission to begin an action that is a green light. So dear students, you might have seen uh, that these color expressions are 
have different different meanings and they are very interesting also so please do uh, take a note of all these okay so you can make you can uh, write this on your portfolio also design on your portfolio uh, in terms of a column okay where you give different different like for gray area you write you give gray color okay gray color for black guard you give black color green belt you give green belt so make a design uh, of these color expressions in the form of a table and please do uh, upload it on your uh, portfolio page because your portfolio page needs to be creative so color expressions i think is some is an activity which is which is very creative so i shall give you task on google classroom please take the effort and uh, you can also look for some more color expressions like here 12 are given so you can look for another 10 or 12 make a 30 word uh, color make a 30 list of color expressions okay 30 uh, phrase list of color expressions right you shall find it if you go uh, do some research okay and then uh, you will make three columns one is color expression second is meaning third one is sentence so on your web page you make on the portfolio page you make three columns of this particular exercise i shall give you on google classroom this assignment and it is very simple first you will write you make a table where you give three columns first will be color expression second will be meanings third will be examples right and you design according to the color and uh, uh, you write them uh, you don't go for match the exercise like this you go for the meaning directly here okay like monday morning blues you write the meaning here so here color expressions meanings and examples right i shall write the tech uh, type the questions for you on google classroom please do uh, work it out and by saturday you complete this task right dear students okay and the previous task what i gave you that also you please upload and send me the link of your profile page okay on google classroom on google classroom you can you can uh, upload the link and text me your link okay you text me your link uh, by uploading it on the attachment uh, okay uh, on the attachment right so this is also uh, one of the tasks for you right so please do update your portfolio page as you know dear students i have to award you some marks for portfolio also therefore uh, those who have submitted the previous one like anushri said she has riddhi and all um, might be they have all suggested uh, i mean uploaded a uh, very good to, uh, for all those and those who haven't updated or uploaded on the portfolio page please do upload quickly along with this task this task deadline is saturday and last task deadline was over so i have already set date and time on the google classroom so if you are late then it will show they are late so that might affect your mark also so please do not be late beyond the schedule do not submit beyond the deadline you do not submit okay otherwise uh, half mark might be deducted right so dear students thank you so much let's wind up here today thank you thank you so much dear students so we shall meet tomorrow i have given you a task today directly on the web page on your portfolio page you upload and then send me the link on google classroom link of your portfolio page right and make a single portfolio page as i told you before for english mathematics science social science right dear students bye bye take care and have a great day